Developing a multiplanetary system is no longer a sci-fi topic, but now a serious consideration for the future. If we want to have long-term missions or even settlements, we must first consider the ramifications of reproduction in different environments, for example, a weaker gravity on Mars. Our team recognized a problem in our status quo. There's simply too little information about a topic so significant. So, to take the first step of many, here's what we propose. A zero-g plane flies in a parabolic trajectory where it simulates microgravity at this exact time for 20 seconds. Inside of the plane is a house mouse in its gestation period. But also, there's some ultrasound equipment that includes a transducer and a phone that wirelessly connects to that transducer to display the Doppler graph. We're able to use the ultrasound equipment to get a collection of graphs that show the velocity of blood flow in different gravity environments, in 1g, in 1.5 to 1.7g, and in 0g. This is data for us to make conclusions about what the immediate effects of gravity are on the velocity of blood flow of the umbilical artery of this pregnant mouse. But also, we can make predictions of how healthy the fetus would be long term. My name is Darren Sain, and I'm a 16-year-old student who's enthusiastic about space biology. I truly believe that more research needs to be done about the impacts of space travel on reproduction, concerning the increasing number of female astronauts. In the past, and now to some sort of extent, women have been limited in the space travel field due to insufficient information about women's bodies in space. I'm Christina, and I truly want to make the space industry more equitable. With this experiment, we can push the space industry to be more sustainable and equitable.